Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm back again with another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Premier EMS holster kit. Try and get this going before the rain comes. You got straight nose Kelly forceps or straight nose hemostats or straight nose clamps, whatever you want to call them. Banded shears or forceps. Smaller banded shears or forceps. Tweezers, which are relatively nice. Trauma shears, just the standard Pakistan 143 degree autoclave. And a disposable pen light. And here's the pouch itself. The banded shears, the edges on here, so on the on your nose of them, these are supposed to be, they, they put this on there to help you so you don't accidentally cut your patient. But if you look on both of mine, they have a sharp edge to them. So I have to go through with some sandpaper or something and dull them out so you don't cut your patient. And then the... Um, Pin light is just the average disposable one with the pupil, pupil gauge. Hemostats or forceps are just the Pakistan ones. Along with the tweezers. The tweezers actually do have a nice edge to them. And I feel like I can actually grasp things with them. And then the shears are just shears. Nothing too special about them. They do have an orange handle, so they're easier to see at night if you drop them. And if they get covered in fluids, uh, it's easier to spot uh, for when you need to clean them. This kit retails for about $30. The one on their website has just one pair of uh, banded shears. And actually has two clamps um, but mine came with the two bandage shears one clamp so I'm not sure if mine just got mixed up the only other one that they had at the store that I bought this at was missing trauma shears so I'm not sure if maybe that the whole order was kind of a fluke um, but yeah the packaging is really interesting they just had it hanging on the, the belt style like that. And it has the tag. Leather EMT holster arched $29.95. But the information and the, the packaging itself is actually for belt keepers. So I don't know what other specs. I mean, this feels like leather. Um, but it also says made in China. So take that as it be. Overall, I really like it. Um, I think it, it definitely gives you good options, but in the field and my experience as a uh, fire volunteer firefighter for almost four years, an EMT for almost two, working a, a year on the ambulance and a year in the ER, personally, the only thing that I've ever used the most was just the trauma shears. Uh, and the pen light. Um, Pre-hospital care, I don't think I've ever used tweezers. I don't think I've ever maybe only used them once in the ER. Um, banded shears, not really much at all. Um, and the clamps, the only other time I've ever used clamps was in the ER. Um, we were trying to get a cut ring off of somebody's finger. And we had the, the ring cutter, and then we're also using these to try and peel the ring back. Um, but all the ER techs that I worked with, we all carried this. We had it pinched to our shirt, our scrub shirt like this. And then over the, the, um, the clamps, like my, my fingers are like this, we had a roll of medical tape 
and then in the loop of the medical tape we would carry our trauma shears like that so you'd use tape quite a bit trauma shears I mean these things are uh, you know you're gonna use them and the uh, the clamps we um, like I said we all carried them because they they definitely had their purpose but pre-hospital care I, I can't say that I've I've ever used them um, just never had a situation that I thought would call for them but it's nice that they include that I'll show you some other ones that are comparable to the in the market here is a EMI uh, brand holster set get the clamps the bandage shears seatbelt cutter spring-loaded window punch reusable pen light some very cheap but workable uh, usable uh, stethoscopes and again just the cheap Pakistan trauma shears nothing good nothing about nothing bad about them just this pouch is rather big though um, you do have lots of compartments you got a pocket one on each side and of course the main compartment and then on the closure flap you even have a small glove pouch and in here um, this is empty when you get it but I've managed to fit two pairs of nitro gloves and a throwaway uh, one time use CPR barrier mask. I really like this uh, concept, it, although it, again, it does have a lot going on. It takes up a lot of space. If you're an agency that uh, gives you your EMS personnel turnouts, you will have to take this off before you put on your turnouts. For this, you might be able to squeeze them in. You can find these ones on EMI, Galls, and Rothko. And then this is another one sold by Rothko only. EMI has their style like it though. And this one is actually, I've mixed a few things up. Um, so you actually, in this kit, you would have your disposable pin light. This one is a reusable one. Um, and the tweezers, which are, they don't have much grip to them, so they're, I don't like them that much. These are the same bandage shears that you would get in them. I just don't know where the ones went in this kit. And then, of course, your clamps. And trauma shears which these ones actually feel better they feel more solid um, than these ones or these ones which is kind of interesting since they're Rothko you wouldn't expect that from them but the overall pouch itself is relatively cheap uh, this one's $30 this one on the website, it's $70, but in store, I've only ever seen them for $50. These ones are about $25. Here's a couple ones that are not really, you can find them, but they're not really on the market that much. Vintage Tex Shoemaker ones from the 70s and 80s. This one just has two slots for shears and a pen light. Um, I carry the uh, clamps and the bandage shears and then just a pen light and then this one same thing the clamps bandage shears pocket knife uh, which is a nice addition and then the uh, pen light I'll do a video of all my holster sets and which one I think is the best but this is just to show you guys the options out there I'm gonna wrap up this video since the rain is starting to come down more I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys learned something new if you're looking at buying one of these for a friend or a loved one who's going into the EMS field, I highly recommend any of them. Um, but between just the, the three common ones, 
not including these two. Um, I personally, I think this one is the best. Um, but that's just me. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something new. If you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them below. And as always, have a nice day.